Hello guys and welcome to this um, little tutorial from ITS, Intelligent Traffic System. This time we are going to look at how to uh, rig your cars, your your own your own cars to the system so the, the system can use them for the traffic simulation. Right now I have this uh, new project. I already have imported uh, ITS. Uh, also this package from the asset store which is cars and trucks package and also I have imported um, this uh, texture for uh, also let you know how to use this for simulating the, the brakes of the traffic cars okay first we are going to to go to the uh, ITS menu simple vehicle at empty. This will bring uh, the wizard window. Then we are going to select the prefab of the car that we want to, to rig. The car needs to to have properly aligned uh, the car body and the wheels already. So for example we are going to rig the cop car. I'm going to drag it here click this button then we see the car is already on the scene um, usually you use this um, kind of ruler I have here to know uh, more or less the, the length of the car to see if it's um, pretty much real to the to the real world so this car is about six meters in length it's a little bit bigger than normal but but it's okay we can work with that so if you have to change its position or the rotation you can see here the car is pointing the forward direction with this uh, blue arrow the car has to be facing that way if it's not facing that way you can change its rotation with this Um, on any of the axes it's better to use this tool and not to do it directly on, on the transform uh, since this is more accurate uh, also the position you can change the position the idea is that the wheels should be like touching this blue line you see here um, and that the car should be more or less in the middle of the green line. Also, if you see from the top, you will see this red line, which is the x-axis, should be also uh, more or less in the middle of the car. So this is the basics about how to to get it properly rigged. So I'm going to hit OK. Right now, the the wizard is asking to select all the wheels of the car. You can do it on the scene view by clicking with um, control key and, and selecting the, the wheels or you can simply go to the scene and do the same to the hierarchy view, sorry. So I have selected all my wheels of the cars. I'm going to click OK. Then you are going to see these uh, yellow fur, wire fur which just tells you uh, the size of the collider that it's going to be used on those wheels. Uh, by default it, it brings more or less the size correctly so you can keep it that way. If you see the yellow spur too big you can decrease its size with these buttons in here. You can also change the, the step for changing the size, for example, we can reduce it like this. If all the wheels you want to be that size, just hit this button apply from the rear wheels and the front will have the same. If you modify this, the front wheels and want to apply to the rear, just hit the button that is here. So we have the wheels now. We are going to continue. Now the wizard is asking that you have to select the game object that is going to have the um, either mesh collider or box collider of the car. 
In this case, we are going to select this um, object which has the mesh of the body of the car. And usually, it's best in, um, uh, perf uh, about performance to use the box collider instead, instead of the mesh collider. So I'm going to add the box. As you can see, sometimes um, the box is enclosing everything on the car. We can adjust it right here, since maybe it's way too big. So we adjusted it a little bit less, like this. And also, I'm going to reduce a bit the length. More or less in there is, is good. Okay, so when you have that, just uh, hit continue. Now, the system is going to ask you uh, to select another mesh, in this case, the one that should be the brake lights. So, uh, the system can assign this as the brake lights. As this car doesn't have any brake lights mesh, I'm going just to not select anything and hit continue. Okay, we have to select something. There is no problem. Just select any mesh, then we have to fix that at the end. I'm going to name this cop car and a mass of more or less this should be okay. Then just hit save and finish. And the car is now rigged and it will be in this folder. As you can see, it's here. It's now having all the scripts needed for it to to work. So you can now, for example, uh, adjust a few settings here, like um, in this case, in the Tesla Simple Car, the system assigned this mesh as the brake lights, and we don't want this because this mesh will be turned on and off when the car brakes or or simple start going on yeah and moving forward so to avoid that just simply remove it and that won't happen anymore also make sure your car or your um, model doesn't have this um, on the static as this will cause a lot of issues with the system because um, the mesh that has this box collider won't be moving on the scene because it's marked as a static. So be careful of that because in this case, this package, the the current trucks package, brings the the cars with the static um, toggle enabled. And you have to disable that. Make sure to, to check that that's disabled. Okay, uh, another thing is that usually the the, um, the models that you import brings the animation with them. But in this case, this car, this model doesn't have any animation, so we are going to remove that component. Because it, it could uh, drain some performance, even if not used. So. We have to be careful about that. Okay, now, now we are going to um, add to this car this little um, fake brake light I have, I've used and imported. It's a simple texture, like a flur. And when you, for example, drag it here, You could see that it could be used as the bright, light, bright lights of the car. It's uh, the best way to have a fake 
brake lights that doesn't consume too much performance since using flares for example um, are really really bad for performance in also if you're going to have traffic with more than more than um, I don't know 50 cars 100 cars so it's better to to use this technique okay so there we have it I'm going to drag these two objects into the car and now I'm just going to assign it here in this array one and number two okay now we have the car with um, working fake flares for the brake lights if you want to make them a little bit better you could for example um, duplicate this one and just turn around it 90 degrees so it looks more or less like this and do the same with the other one duplicate it and turn it 90 degrees so when the car is lock is looking like this from the sides some it will give some effect that the lens is there the fake lens for so now I'm going to add those other two which are this one and this one okay so now we have the the car with the with the brake lights and I think it's now ready just to be used on this scene that's it um, if you want to add it for example I'm going to add it to the demo scene don't forget to apply your changes to the prefab okay now we can delete this I'm going to save this going to go to the camera and add the car in here Pop car. now if you hit play You should see some cop cars around here. There you go. There he is. And as you can see, the brake lights are working very well. See? So there you go, that's it, thank you for watching.